Welcome back to another episode of Shit I Wish I Knew. This is episode two, and this one is going out to Vasily and Chroni from Chicago. They asked me to do another uh, video on Critica Certa, this time with Lauto. So we're going to do a little bit of an overview of what Critico Lauto is, do some strumming pattern, some basic chord progression, then we'll do some of the ornamentation and certain things that I've picked up along the way. Now in this video, I'm going to say it right away. I'm not a trained lautieri by any means. It's anything that I've picked up along the way. Tips, tricks, pointers, and stuff that I've heard other people do that I've kind of incorporated in my own playing. So with that said, let's grab the lauto and let's go for it. So here we have a critico lauto as opposed to a steriano lauto, which I have on this side. It's tuned from highest to lowest, E, A, D, G. D is a, an octave lower than what we would have in a normal progression, but that's okay. And it's definitely incorporated in the, the way that we play the instrument. We use a penna and actually I'll do a close up on the penna right there and how we hold it. So we're going to wrap around, put it between our index finger and our middle finger, wrap the index finger around and then thumb over it. And then we're going to curl our wrist inward. And that's kind of the best way that I've discovered to do the playing as far as style of the, of the island. So the strumming pattern for Sirta, it's a never ending pattern of four and it's Vasian one. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we do that with our strumming too. So let's get closer over here and we're just, I'm going to mute all the strings and focus just on the pick right now. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Big vurza, you know, a big brush on that first one. So one, make sure all those notes are heard. And then the pick is always going to hit up against that pick guard. So there's two functions of this instrument itself. We have the function of percussion, which is that vurza that gives the meter or metro to the people that are dancing or the other musicians. Second function is going to be holding harmonies, holding the chords for the songs. And then you're also a lot of times going to see two lauta or a guitar and a laudo, and that's kind of the zilla or the, the accompaniment along with either violi, ashwandura, lira. All right, those are the, uh, the leader instruments. And second laudo is going to be doing passages. And we'll go over a little bit of that later in the video. But let's get back to the strumming pattern for Sirto. One, two, three, four. 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 And so it goes. If we're going to take one song that I would say is the best way to start, it's Roto Sirto. So the chord progression, like we did in the previous video, we have the long part and we have the short part. Okay, it's very common in Critica Certa to have this short part, long part. So most of the time that we're going to start Proto Sirto, Hanyotico, it's going to start with the long part. So chords, basic chords are A, G, D, E. The song is in E minor. So A, fifth fret, and you have open A here. So we'll match. And I'll show a close-up of the uh, of the way that we're going to play this chord and what we're going to mute if we're playing accompaniment. One, two, three, four, G, D, E. Now, within the style, like I said, we're going to mute a lot of this and we're going to put more emphasis on the percussive part of it. So. Second part, we eliminate the A minor and we go right into G. This is the, the Yirisma, the shorter part of the song.
So those are the two sections of Proto Sirto of Cagnotti. What I will say is that once we start getting a little bit more intricate on even our strumming pattern, you can start throwing in Pidicto. Focus again on pick side. And we can switch back and forth between those patterns. So let's pick up the pace a little bit. We'll start in with the A and then I'll go into the tune itself. So. time we hit the first note of that meter and that gives emphasis on the one beat on the downbeat like we said earlier we have the two functions of the instrument so the one is the percussive the backing instrument and the, the other one is gonna be the the lead instrument so let's go a little bit the basic melody of Cagnotti at least the way that I play it very skeletal no no meat and potatoes on that yet Yirisma. that's where it hits that G So that would be if I'm doing the melodic part. Let's throw a little bit of intricacy on that one. I want to show a little bit of the flavor, at least some of it. And I'll go a little bit slower and then pick up the pace on it. Again, very slow, very basic. And then if I want to start really throwing it on, it, there's plenty of trills, plenty of space that you can do it. But again, putting a lot of emphasis on that metro. Everything is giving that rhythm, even if I'm doing the solos. So let's go a little bit faster. Let's go a little bit more intricate. So. giving the rhythm always giving the rhythm and then if I'm playing let's say solo laudo I'm gonna have to start blending both of them that's where it starts getting really fun you know we'll do a
So basic takeaways that we have on this lesson. Like we said, everything about La Uta itself is based on keeping the time, providing the percussive element of the music itself, keeping everybody on measure. And that's a big part, especially when you're incorporating somebody that's gonna dance for the music that you're playing. Trying always to finish on the, on that one. So that's gonna give the dancer that way in. If we're gonna ornament, again, we always ornament on time, on meter, and still never losing the style. That pena is emphasis on the down, and that down is what's gonna give the flavor of the, of the music, again. Another big pointer is playing staccato. It tends to drive that sound a little bit better. So. And another quick tip on how to do that easier is play closer to the bridge. Closer you play, the less resonance that you have, as opposed to playing by the rosette. It's a lot harder to make that snap. So you're going to play over the pick guard. The way that we mentioned the pen on the beginning, if you're twisting in, it's a lot easier to do it. Again. That's all I have for this one. La Sidi Chroni, best of luck to you. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It's always appreciated and be sure to leave a comment if you want anything broken down if you want anything explained further if you want a, a tutorial on on anything regarding traditional greek music it's always my pleasure looking forward to hearing from you thanks again this was shit i wish i knew mm -hmm.